care. Oh, dang it. Care in my ink injecting harlot. I am back for you. But. But before we get started, welcome back. I'm not sure why I'm holding a pencil, it's just on my desk. There's a lot of things on my desk. Like a, a wine voucher. I also got a frog. Look at that frog. Cool frog. I also got scissors and an ethernet cable in case Lucifer wants to come up from hell. And the ethernet cord is to shove up his pee hole so I can unlock Wi-Fi 7. Anyways, Karen, I have returned. I am back. I am the back. I am the vertebrae that holds you and your tits. I am back. Well, I guess that was this was inevitable. Security somehow didn't notice you entering again, so, you know what? Tough shit. So you've either memorized when Frank takes his breaks or somehow keep walking in every time he leaves to use the restroom. Either way, unless you've got the two dollars needed for the file that, uh, that form, the file for the form that I gave you, then I'm afraid that we have nothing to talk about. I do have it right here. It's... Fuck, I lost it. Hey, let me check my wallet. I have a dollar. I do have a dollar. Surprisingly enough, I have a dollar. I also have a thing in my wallet. Most powerful Indian spiritual healer, Master Vikram. No one can break my work. Expert in palm reading, face reading, horoscope, chakra, spiritual reading, picture readings. You can go to him if you want to fix uh, black magic removal, court cases, health issues, divorce, reunite lovers, house problems, enemy problems, lucky lotto, business, property, uh, lover relationships, sexual problems, cleanse voodoo, evil spirit removal, witchcraft removal, bad luck removal, black magic re removal. I'm not going to show the card, but because it has an address on it. Actually, no, I could show it if I like block out the number. I mean, it's also inverted, but you know, that it, I have the card. I picked it up in a Target parking lot because some witch hexed me. It was just meant to be. I just have to call Master Vicar so he can fix my my dick. I guess I I, I, I don't know. But yeah, I do have the two dollars. Be still, my heart. All right, and over the form, and I can get them filed for you. All right, here's the form. It's and my five dollars. And here, keep the change, sugar. There's a a piece of hair in my mouth. I need to get a haircut. Maybe not a haircut, but like definitely a trim. No, I'm not. I need the change. I need the. I still need to get into the fun fair. Actually, no. I rejected the idea. Keep the change, sugar. Nah, just kidding. I'm a greedy elf. Yeah, give me my three dollars. Honestly, I expected this and two single dollar bills, or even more likely, a heaping fistful of copper coins. Actually, that's a lie. I didn't expect you to scrounge up at the money at all. Did you find this money on the ground? I found, uh, you know, where the money's usually found. What? In someone else's wallet? Uh, is that, that's a crime, isn't it? Taking money from someone's wallet? Yeah, that's called petty theft and it very much is a crime. Then I won't, then I won it at the casino. I love gambling. I tried the, the roulette trick and uh, won the big bucks. Sure. Oh. I see you tried to fill the, out the form on your own. Yeah. Tried being the key word. Yeah, mama. This is illegible. Illegal? I am no alien. Illegible. I mean, I can't read it. Oh, right. I don't really know my ABCs. It's, uh, the number of squiggles should correlate with the number of letters, though. Kind of like Braille, I think. From context. My best guess is that you tried to either write Frankenstein or Manslaughter as your company name. I do fucks with Frankenstein. Am I close? Uh, actually, it's Frothcoin next. TM. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'm gonna be honest. Frothcoin. The currency that connects you, you and the froth you care about the most. Oh, that is rancid. So when can I start scamming? I mean, start recruiting children for my child labor pawn scheme thing. I don't know. Where's the nearest Sheen factory so I can raid them for their employees? Well, you need some kind of contract for people to sign before you can sucker them to doing your bidding. More paperwork! I don't want to do that. I'm just going to yell into the mic until I get what I want. Man, it's a good thing I have three more dollars to my name. Actually, this is the part of the process where you don't need us anymore. We don't do con or do contract templates here and you won't have to pay another filing fee <gasps> really oh my god thank you so much karen you dumb ink filled beauty 
Yes, you can literally just draft up any old contract on your own, which will be entirely between you and whoever you goad into signing it. Okay, Karen, my guiding moonlight, how can I ever thank you enough? Please, let me touch your thumb sensually. Never re-entering this premises for any reason would be a start. Can do, Karen. Amen, Karen. You're doing uh, Lord's work. Hey, that rhymes. No, it, it does not. I disagree. If you say so, sure. You know, I could just get out. All right, I just need to figure out who can get to draft up this contract for me. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let me do a faithful, faithful, faithful. Karen. Or this is a root diverging choice. Sure. File 18, you go. Although I don't think this one would matter. Just who I, I guess the dialogue would change. Karen, can you be a beauty and uh, uh, fill out this contract or make it and then uh, fill it out for me? Put like Roger, last name not given or ask for Peter for help. I, I just gaslit him into thinking Roger had diabetes. Someone downtown, outside, or just go back to the plant? I'm asked Karen, I want more Karen time. No. I have three dollars though. And I have self-respect. You, you're lost then! Okay, so Karen's a dead end. I can still hear you, you know. Who's talking to you? Dumb bitch! Uh oh, Miss Dunn, is this thing bothering you? Yes, Frank. Please eject this creature from the premises, please and thank you. Come on, pal. Let's go. Ah, shit! Fine. Let's go. I guess I'll, uh... Okay, I guess that's not a, a thing. <laughs> Search for someone outside to help draft up a con- Outside the bank or someone downtown? Uh... Downtown. Yeah, you know, there's plenty of pawns here for my big game. You know, you actually picked a really good time to spot a random passerby on the street if such a, a time event exists. It's slightly past five o'clock, so a few, so quite a few people are leaving work right about now. Not to mention, this street's one of the town's main arteries, so you've got quite the selection of hardworking people to victimize. <laughs> and victimize I shall, I just need to find the right target. Hmm, what to look for in a potential mark? I don't know, someone with big old ass. I should pick someone in a suit. Business people understand contracts, right, brother? And how the fuck are other people over? That's essential. And how to fuck people over? Oh, over, odor, udders. I'm gonna milk someone's udder. But not too fancy of a suit because then they might wind up pepper spraying me. That's a pretty sophisticated line of thinking you just deployed there. Suspiciously com competent in the fact. Thanks. I am always learning. I am like an AI super soldier, like a rat in a maze. Yes, and now I've gotten my first whiff of the cheese. Trademark. Oh my god. I stay faithful to the cheese and baby want more. You know, you have a knack for phrasing things as upsettingly as possible and blurting them out w without even a hint of shame in your voice. Hush now, I think I see the perfect mark. Oh joy. Oh vi- oh god. Damn it. Oh, hey you, stop, I need to speak with you. I have a word or two, or three, or four, or five, or, or uh, more than one word. Hello, mate, hello, good to see you again, mate. Fancy a swinging, then. How's your foot job in the pub, what? Do you speak English? Oi, don't be naff. It's me bloody n n m mothman. It's my, it's, it's me bloody mother, mother tongue, in it. I thought you said mothman. And now you got impregnated by Mothman. You got impregnated by Mothman. Nope, I didn't get any of that. Are you, are you trying to piss me off or what? I, I think I'd like to. I think I just don't know how. I don't get it. It just slips past my fingers every damn time. I don't know what to say to that. Look, I'm looking to draft up a contract for my company. Do you know anything about that? Oi, bloody course. I'd never go beyond a simple natter with clients without even something in writing first. What time signature are you thinking? What are you saying? I have no idea what you're saying. I want a contract guitar head. It's a violin, mate. Yeah, yeah, fancy guitar, whatever. You're not better than me because your head isn't rotting, you know. Just because mine has stitches in it and I probably took a piece of like brain matter from Callum Crown since I kind of do like some weird ass memory flashbacks of him. I'm not sure how I even know Callum Crown. 
No, I no need to get cheesed off, mate. I just wanted to see how, what you wanted. Sorry, I, but I can't help but get cheesed off. We're in the cheese state. I, st I stay faithful to that. Or so or so I've heard. If there is cheese around, no one's sharing with me. No. Boy, I know what just what you mean. Society's like that and all up, mate. What? Too little cheddar to go around. It's right tragic is what it is. So, could you draft up that contract for me, like, right now? Hmm, could do, could do. Oh, it's Nathan Hanover. Oh, I didn't even notice that. If you're willing to pay me right. What? Are you willing to do it or not? I, I don't... I'm not paying you for talking to me like that. Oh, I don't be ordering at me, mate. Look, I said if I'm well paid, then Bob's your uncle, all right? Who the fuck is Bob? Bob, what the fuck? Fuck you, I'll fucking kill you! All right, asshole. Well, I didn't want a contract from him anyways. Shit, that didn't go as well as I'd hope. My throat hurt. You're a moron, Fep, you know that? Shut, I was going for well a bit. Well, yeah, and it inevitably blew up in your face like all things do. No. This won't do at all. I need someone more desperate. Someone who isn't used to being paid for their labor and effort. Aha! I know. I'll try uptown less money on that side of town. I'll ask a pass- or Peter. Peter, he'll help me. Is this all just going back to Peter? Peter, I need your help, Peter. Uh, Peter, I summon thee, Peter. Peter, help me. Okay, wait, who am I? I'm not gonna do- I'm gonna try uptown. Screw that. I have a feeling it's just gonna go right back to Peter, though. I'll bet I'll find someone who really needs this three dollars in no time. Godspeed, Fep. Right, right, away I go. I'm not gonna ask you really, because you'd probably be like, God, no. I've got a good feeling about this one. Well, I sure don't. This will work. You really think someone you'll find someone in Uptown Dial Town who knows the ins and outs of contract law? Who said I need to find someone who knows about contract law? I just need to find someone. All I need is someone desperate enough to write down whatever I say for three dollars. You sicken me, you know that? So you keep saying, yeah. All right, let's get the show on the road. Let's get started. I think I found my perfect mark. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, Randy. <laughs> hey there, uh... I, I might as... it might be me my imagination, but I, I could have sworn that you were sizing me up from a distance, much in the same way a hungry lion stalks its gazelle. For the record, I'm... I'm really bony and there isn't really much meat on me. Kind of like a carp, you know? I fucks with fish, Randy. Oh, please, eat ya. You'd probably taste funny. Yeah. Most animals that bite me don't swallow what comes off me, so I'd be inclined to agree with that. Oh, yep. You're the one, all right. Mm. You're a size- you're a fuckable piece of meat. Are you? I'm the one. I've, I'd, I never normally get picked for this stuff, unless it's a vicious animal or a mugger deciding to- To, to what? Touch you? Touch your dial head? Uh, touch your dial town? Mm, I'm gonna go all over you. All over your town, if you know what I mean. Oh, my phone. God, I'm being mugged, aren't I? You bet! Hand over your valuables, and no one gets hurt. Actually, I'm gonna try to get a contract off him. Relax, I'm not here for that. Actually, I'm here with the opportunity of a lifetime. An opportunity? An opportunity, yeah. Could it be? Is my luck about to turn around? No. Yeah, the thing is, I need someone to drop a contract for me. Oh. Well. I don't really know the first thing about drafting up contracts. Well, can you read and or slash write? Are those your pronouns? And slash or write? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm literate. It's, uh, it's a little difficult to hold a pen since my hands are in constant agony, but for you, I, I think I could manage. Great. Do you have any paper on you or a pen, maybe? I, I do, actually. I have both of those things. You will do for the perfect sucker. I've been meaning to start a keeping a diary, but it's not like I have the money for a pocketbook, you know? So I just tore a page off of a notebook at a store, and then I uh, kind of ch got chased out by the store, uh, the shopkeeper, who was holding a broom. I guess I should be grateful that it wasn't a shotgun in his hand. Eh, anyway, what's the contract for? Oh, it's for my new cryptid currency pyramid scheme startup. It's uh, called frothcon.next, TM. The currency that connects you and the froth you care about the most. We all came from the primordial froth, Randy. We live by the froth and we die by the froth. And I'm frothing from the mouth occasionally. Don't know if it's rabies. I see. 
So you don't have a problem with this at all, do you? Morally? Ethically? Sexually? I mean, I know I'm pretty hot, but just tell me. I've got big plans, my bandaged friend, to seize power in this town. To seize, to get a higher elite. Things could get messy. Me? Have problems with that? I mean, it's gonna get messy for you, not for me. I always throw people under the bus. Always, always back to Warlord before they seize power. That's my motto. Oh, always back the Warlord. Sure, you could be vanquished and I could be shot in the street like a dog for helping someone who threatened the powers that be. But I could also be shot tomorrow for stealing a tray of those tiny sample sh quiches at the sto grocery store. That is true. Life's uh, pretty rough. I really have nothing to lose by helping you. Outstanding. I can't read or write, so I'll just dictate what you include, all right? All right, can do. Great. This will do excellently. All right, here we go. Now, right after me. My name is Fep. Beast of Beasts. Mr. Beast. I'm gonna get arrested soon. Uh-huh. Look at my work. Ye mighty and despair. Now, I'm sorry, but... Th this is a legal contract, right? I'm setting the tone. I, I like my... <laughs> like I own all of reality. Just write it down word for word. No, I'm gonna go for the mystical... The mystical one. Huh. Yeah, I, I guess that'd do it all right. Okay, if you sign this, you'll be an official part of FrothCon next TM family. Uh-huh. Joining up costs five. No, wait, ten No, fifteen dollars! You sell my cryptid currency and I get 80% of whatever you make from it. Actually, better make that 90. I want lots of money. Okay. And, uh, if you don't, your signature gives me permission to satter- Satter? Sit on your kneecaps and shatter them with my fat dumpy. Uh, legally, like you consent to it, I guess. Uh-huh. Okay, that's strong. Maybe I could, uh, add in a part about you having the right to remove people's organs if they sign the dotted line. Like, you know, like kidneys and the like. Just stuff that wouldn't be missed. Oh, yeah, I like the sign of that. That's a good idea. It's a lucrative industry, you know? Sell kidneys to the black market for thousands. Oh, uh, or so I've heard. Yeah, add that. Add that. I like that. I like- you're- you're a good man. You say a lot of things, Randy. You say a lot of stuff that I don't agree with. But that one, I like. I like that. And for the- uh, that valuable suggestion? Ah, what the hell. Every month. Wait, what's your name? Uh, Randy Jade. Every month, Randy Jade shall receive a shiny twopence for his troubles. R really? Yup. You're getting one shiny nickel. Uh, I was gonna just scroll something to that effect down on my own since how you were, you were gonna be able to tell, right? How are you gonna be able to tell? Oh, but official recognition is way better. Wait, sure, all right, next line. Uh, if you sell lots of g my garbage fake... <laughs> if you sell lots of my garbage fake coins, you will rise up the pyramid. And, uh, and one day, if you play your cards right, even get to dine with the pharaohs. Okay. Signed, me. Don't fuck up or I'll come for you, thanks. I'll come for you, then come on you, and don't forget the dotted line. Alright, just one moment. And done. <laughs> yep. That's the devil. Oh, that's... D did you hear that too? W was that you? Doesn't matter, I've got it. The contract of a lifetime. I can make lots of photocopies of this one once I get back to the plant. All right, man it over. Here you are. Randy, you've done me a real service. I'm gonna be nice to you. How can I ever thank you? Oh, jeez. Honestly, I, I was honored to be included. And to be offered such a generous reward of a whole twopence per month, too. Wowee. What? Oh, yeah, oh, that. Sure, okay, whatever. Enjoy your measly coins, I guess. Hot dog! You bet I will! Alright, I can already tell that this won't ever come back to bite me in the ass, like most things inevitably do. Easy street, here I come! No, it's- Okay, I have to say, I was surprised to see you eagerly ceding even a cent of revenue to Randy. Maybe there is still a more- a morsel of humanity in you yet. It's not the end of the world if he does try to come after the money. I'm a brutal, unforgiving god! Okay, no, that's- that's a, that's a scary thing to say, Feb. That's actually horrifying. I didn't like that very much at all. Tough. New contract, new me. All right, back to Rogers I go on my merry little my merry widow way. 
It's now it's time I actually get the final step of my me plan. Hi, hi, Roger. The time has arrived. Oh, for the presentation. Yes. I sure. I think I'm ready. Yep. No, I, I'm not. I don't care if you're ready. I'm. I'm saying you're ready. I drafted a speech together using everything you taught me. Atta boy. Atta boy. You're gonna start. You're gonna knock him dead out there. I just know it. Wow. I'm. I'm proud of you. I'm just. So in the way a corrupt you. god and you know angry that. god and horny god can be. You know, you know, this morning I really thought that this place was like doomed. No, nah, trust me, that it still is. I say or do could change the destiny of this place. That I was you know, destined keep thinking to that. be reduced to the man I was before my talents were recognized and I, I gained this fancy hat. Oh wait, I was gonna say, how can you be reduced? You're already kinda rock bottom. You can't really go down. But you also have that hat, so you could lose After that hat. Drinking alone in my apartment, wishing I could be more. Oh yeah, I forgot you were an alcoholic. But thanks to you. I mean, I good thing I took the, your keys from you. Granted, it was your apartment keys, and I don't think you own a car. But I'm glad I took your keys from you in case you started drinking again. Like, I can do anything. You like can, can do anything in this anything. world. You could sell yourself that's it roger you're you're in the you're in the cheese zone tell me does this plant have a photocopier perchance oh yeah we do and it still oh. works too perfect Peter's taking great pains to keep it fully operational that is perfect does it also have paper and that dear roger will be his undoing <laughs> why do you laugh like that I, i'm the i'm what? the villain uh, roger i have a document here i'll sign it no 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 not this one before you, you start your presentation, I need you to command an underling to make copies of it. Lots yeah, of copies. I can do that. Thank you. We don't have much around here, but one thing we do have is paper. Oh yeah, you got paper. You got money. Well, not money. You got you're Hell, fat on paper. Been eating it since we have so much of it. Don't don't eat it. It's not like it grows on Honestly, trees. It's not it is so trees. Bad. Trees are beaches to cut down, dude. It, it's a bit bland, granted, and and Peter keeps saying that if I eat too much of it, it'll have to take me to get my stomach pumped, but. Nah, never mind him. Never. Just, just. Th time for the presentation is upon us. I passed several of your underlings on the way in. They're assembling in the showroom right now right. as we speak. Okay then. See, you gotta Do lock you in. Go over my pitch before we go forward. No, no, just, just go in. It doesn't matter what you say. All that matters is what they hear. The pitch isn't about confidence turning this place around or even money. It's about hope. It's about dreams. It's about memes. As long as they can see a glimmer of that, they'll do anything that we want them to. I'll make you a star yet, Roger. Or my name isn't Fap, it Wait, probably isn't, that's but... That's your name? Yeah. Huh. What, did you never... I've been what? calling you Froth Baby in my head this whole time. I... Uh, that... Froth Baby? It's actually P... <laughs> P Daddy. Uh, let's just... Let's just do this thing, Yippee, okay? This is gonna be great! Yep, it's gonna be fantastic. Oh, wait, is already the presentation? Oh, okay. Man, there sure are a lot of people in here. Uh, sure. You know, I, I was gonna sleep. save this for next time, but we're already here. Honestly, forgot how many people work here. Yeah, no, we there's a lot. Of, why are people working here? Ones. And why do you why are you presenting on a piss soaked like presentation thing? Why why is it stained? And why like that big? What stained that? And they're insects, Roger. Insects. Oh, they're like measly. Centipedes. Yes, you're an expert on that. Okay, I know you I, are. I think I could probably deliver a pitch to a bunch of centipedes without missing a beat. Nah, yeah, I mean, you're you're in there. Centipedes, right? They'd understand if I'm a little disorganized, you know. Yep. Must be hard getting anything done with that many legs to keep track of. And... Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I just do it. All right. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Attention, okay. everyone. I'd Lock like in. To say a few words to you all now. Don't put your hand like that, please. These last few months have been tough on all of us, with cutbacks in all of your wages, gas leaks, and most importantly, pesky fires all over the plant. Gas leaks and fire- but All of that <laughs> changes today! I'd like to introduce you to this plant's newest product, FrothCon Next, trademarked. Fro hey, you got the logo! The froth that you care about most. Seamless, synergy, premium, blockchains. All of these words and more describe our <laughs> He's literally saying everything I told him. 
Even the Callum Crown hand. Of toiling away in your vain attempts to grasp onto the greasy corporate ladder so that you can climb to new heights. Today, I'm giving all of you an opportunity to sell our frothy. Why am I T posing on the pyramid? So you can climb the pyramid with us. This time last year, I was just like you, a poor schmuck with no I think there's a guy in the crowd who has a gun in his mouth. Stuck wallowing in my own filth and feces. Also, my dog is really sick, and unless you sign up with me, my dog is going to die. But that's not all. This is literally just like an amalgamation. Whatever the hell it is you've always wanted. Whether it be riches, power, a buff tomboy typewriter girlfriend, eyelids, or even a bucket full of centipedes. <gasps> TITS! TITS! It will all Fuck be yeah, he, this is good, and good speech. My word for there were uncensored titties the right there. I mean, you didn't see the nips, but I think the nips are like state. Oh, he died. Now, he did. Wasn't that something? So come yep. and join the Froth Connect family today. That's an Eldritch Horror bot. Like, oh, he, what? You animated this? Is or else? Or else? Begin return witness failure. Cut. What? Well, you didn't add add that freaky I, last part. I didn't teach I you that. Did you did it. I, I used everything you taught me and. Look sharp, Rog man. Someone's coming our way. Roger, you son of a bitch. What a pitch. Wow, thanks, Joe. It's been a long time since I've you seen you this excited. Oh, you're, you're yanking me chain, mate. This green thing over here just got you to deliver two whole spiels without you trailing off or talking about centipedes. Well, not a whole fucking lot, but a lot of centipede talk, but there's gotta count for something. Whatever this thing is, you got It's got you a way tighter way It's got you on a way tighter leash than Peter ever had, and I can see which way the winds with the whistles blowing. It's time for a come soaked regimen change. Say, do you have anything for me to sign before all the spots are gone? Yeah, go talk to Fabron. Go talk to Phineas and Ferb. He's got the contracts printed out. Tits! Yeah! You, you know, I really didn't think an awful lot of you when I saw you outside the plant this morning, but you're something else, you know that? Thanks. I do my best. Yeah, yeah, now get out of here, other, pup other people want to talk to the big boss. So scram. Oh! The quicker I get in, the more I'll, uh, they'll be for me to take. Thanks for the opportunity, sir. And you. For your sake, you better hope I'm the you that in that sentence. Joe. Just called me sir. I don't think I've ever heard Joe call anyone sir before. That's... wow. Joe gets to eat this month now. That tends to make people pretty loyal to you. Or, you know, a good thing when he sees it. Or he knows a good thing when he sees it. We're gonna make a lot of money together. Hell yeah, money! Right, now, next in line. Everett, my man, looking sharp. Mr. Jones, I was ever so exuberant to hear th about the novel product you unveiled during your ortery opus? Or orati? Organs for sale? Haha, <laughs> what? Mr. Jones, who the fuck is that? Oh, that's me. Jones is my last name. My mom gave it to me. What, not your dad? Hmm, well... He wasn't really around, but she said it used to belong to him for a while. Okay, you're a sad little man, Roger. You'll be lucky to survive the winter. Oh, oh, what? Mr. Jones, l l who is this petrifying beast? Is is this the visionary to thank for your avant-garde v venture? What? Uh, I'm not really sure what most of those words mean, but I think so, yeah. Well, any specimen capable of er, devising the whimsical satire piece you po pontificated undoubtedly hides an imperceptible intellect behind its Bruce wiener. My, you're talking about my my big wiener? What are you saying? Forgive my candor, gentle fellows, for I am most interested in partaking of your enterprising embarkment on. Get out of here! Just get, get the fuck out! The door is right there. The national depart henceforth. Thanks for the kind words, Everett. I think. I don't know. I never had any idea what that guy's talking about. But sure. But he seems happy. You think he's on board? Beats me. I don't speak fancy. Calling you Mr. Jones is a good sign, though. Since you're, that's apparently your real surname. 
Had he called you a different surname, I would have advised you to call security. He seems very excited in the least. That bodes well for us. Hell yeah! He's got my name right. That's a win. Things are a happening. Who are you? What? Why do you have a TV for head? Well, here I am. Oh, for Brone. For Brone, my man, you're here. Did you decide to join the Frothcoin next or Frothcon next TM family with the others? You you could say that. Until just now, I really thought you had. Uh, how do you say? Tu as perdu la tête. The fuck is that, French? Get out! Doors right there. Get out. Well, as I've told you, I don't really speak Latin. But thanks. Your confidence means everything to me. Yeah. This whole company consumed it with malware and Trojans. But now, you've got the malware working for us, for all of us. What? I have gr I've grown tired of s scarcity and now willing to climb the horse with the others. I don't know what you're talking about, but hey, glad to have you on board. You're talking about a Trojan horse? This ain't- we ain't selling condoms, buddy. We're selling frothcon.next. You. You were the grand architect of this plan, no? You could- what makes you say that? Well, I've never seen you around here before, and now, suddenly, things are changing. I'm almost out of contracts, and normally, Roger cannot get anyone to read anything he writes. Well, he didn't write this. It's true. Employers are here keep throwing things I write into the fire barrel in our lobby. Well, what else are you going to do with fire barrel? You're almost out of contracts? How much money have we collected so far? In the last ten minutes? A few hundred dollars. Holy cow, we've me never made that much money in an hour, let alone a few minutes. Wow. Whether or not things are changing for the better, we'll have to see about that. But I'm ready to embrace change. I have signed all contracts and I'm ready to write what is to come. Hey, that's great news. Glad to have you on board. Peter's gonna come up here and absolutely decimate us. I will talk to you later, Roger. And you. We must get to know each or we must get to know each other in no time. Or in time, no? We must, yes. Would be good to have more allies in this place. I'm a businessman. I cannot wait. Demands this toward John, my green friend. Just get out, door! Get out! So, uh, so au revoir, au revoir, au revoir, and goodbye. Sure, yeah, I don't fuck with the French, but sure. Wow, Fabron is on board. It's starting to feel like a coalition. I can't wait to see what, who the next person to sign up will be. Yeah, Peter's gonna absolutely go bonanas. Peter, you made it. How do you enjoy the presentation? Are you here to sign up for, for the FrothCon next TM family? Actually, I'm here to tender my resignation. Tender? Like chicken? I'm done. With this? With all of this? With you? What? Peter, what What are you saying? Don't Peter me, Roger! Hey, Peter. Yeah, don't be Im don't, Yeah, don't be impolite. I have nothing to say to you. This is between me and Roger. Hmm, I don't think there'd be any harm in involving Fep in this conversation. Well, I see the harm. Clearly, you've fallen victim to this this thing's corrupting influence. And I can't stand idly and watch as this creature's tendrils inject every fa facet of this place with its vile venom. Fancy words, Pete, but you're yesterday's news. As of this conversation, you're right. I won't be part of this dismal trajectory that, of the, that this plant and Roger is knowingly cascading towards. You've never used the word knowingly to describe me before. Feels kind of bittersweet. Are you kidding me? There's no way you don't know what you're up to, Roger. Oh, I do know. I'm finally about to get this place back on track. You don't have to walk away. You can be a part of this too, help us in... Oh, drop the act, Roger. Nobody is this gullible, this brainless. Not even you. You think I stuck around here because I had faith in your ability to turn this place around? No. It was because I liked you. Because I didn't want to see you crash and burn to see you re Because I didn't want to see you crash and burn to see you regress into the same drunken mess I helped yank back out of the gutter. But now I see it, plain as day. You have no integrity. 
That's not true. I, I have integrity. I... How can I believe a word of what you're saying? Tell me, Roger. Do you even have diabetes? What? D die of what now? I knew it. You. I trusted you. Uh, hey, I don't know anything about this. I, I never said. I don't think for a moment I'd buy that you were simply manipulated into delivering a that asinine spile of yours. That vapid pinch had your fingerprints all over it. The self-victimization, the woe is me bullshit, the ceaseless insecurity I spent tireless months correcting. All the effort I put into building you up led to this. Correcting? Hey, I I'm your boss. You don't correct me. Not anymore, I won't. Behind the in innocent facade draped all over your psyche, I can see clear as crystal. You're a wolf in sheep's clothing, and I refuse to be your next male. I mean, Set It Off did did release a remake of that, and that, that goes pretty hard. That's a good reference. I won't be coming back. Good luck keeping this place running without a single competent lackey doing to do your bidding. Thanks. We'll need it. Oh, you will. Believe me, you will. Oh, well, that's, uh... That really stung. He thinks... I'm a, a bad guy. Who cares what he thinks? That guy's a square. Or he's just bitter that you had the balls to stand up to him, you know? To follow better advice in getting this place running in ship shape again. Even if things are gonna get better around here, what's the point if, of that if Peter thinks I'm an awful person? Roger, today is a new day. Today's a beginning. You don't need him. People are signing up for FrothCon next TM, left and right. We're gonna be rich. Was this a mistake? No. No, this is not the evil route. What's done is done. He isn't coming back. Yeah. I guess not. Oh, hey, they're, they're here. Sup, bozos? Yeah, bozos, we're back. Gentlemen, things are popping off in here. Tell us about it. We haven't seen this much hullabaloo in one place since a schmuck bailed with a tray of free samples, uh, free shampoo mini quiches down a dial mark. Oh, that was a bloodbath, bro. Nobody else got any. I thought it was gonna be a town-wide riot. Say, sure looks like people ate that pitch of yours, huh? Yeah, a bunch of people signed up and they seem eager to make money. 90% of which goes directly to me. Oh, I knew we were baking in a sure thing. Peter left us, though. Peter? Oh, Peter? Who's that? I don't, I don't fucking care. Oh, Red Square. Unimportant. Best just to move on. He wasn't unimportant to me. Chill, Clementine. This, this time next month, we'll all be rolling in cash. You can just buy yourself a new Peter. Hmm, I guess that is true. Say, Greeny, you got the form that we can sign? You want to make this official before you run out. Ideally, we'd also like to sign the same form, you know, as a unit. We don't like separating our names on legal paperwork because it feels like an invitation to separate us, you know? Just kiss already, dude. I mean, because it means less paperwork, which is better for the environment. That, uh, you know, for the sea turtles and shit. Yeah. N nice say, bro. Thanks, bro. Hey, hey. <laughs> just, just fuck already. As long as you each pay the $15 filing fee, I can care less what you do with it. Yeah. Hell yeah, we've got $30. Haven't we, bro? I checked my wallet this morning, bro. We've got it. And five dollars to spare. Ah, yeah. We're riding on the pig's back now. You two are a real pair, you know that? Yeah, we are a pair. And don't you- we're a couple. A couple of besties. A couple of- And history historians will say they were best friends. Alright, bro, let's go make this official. Music to my lack of ears. Bro, let's do this thing. We, we'll be back in a minute, Greeny, so don't go nowhere. Yeah, we're gonna go swing by the mayor's office after this, and she's definitely gonna want to meet you. This is all happening so fast, I feel so rich now. I'm, I'm rich. Hold on to that feeling, because we'll be back for it, you know? Come on, bro, let's become rich. Roger, I'll have to leave you momentarily.
Please don't leave me here alone. For all the activity, it's a lot quieter here now without Peter. Roger, don't worry. You'll always be my lackey. Nothing will ever change that. Unless you act up, then worry not. I'll just have you fired. Or killed. Okay, I guess. You know, I just realized now that Peter never called me a lackey. Or, you know, threatened to have me killed like you just did now. Times are a-changing, Roger. What can I say? Now get out of here. Get out. I need a moment to think. Okay, I'll... Yeah. Okay, those two ingrates are going to be back any minute, and then I'm going to go meet her. Hmm. I'm not sure how close of a, to the end of a route I'm getting. Let me look at the map. You know, I'm looking at the map right now, like the, the map for the route. I have no idea where I am. I, I, I don't know if someone's labeled this online. I'm just looking at the Steam one. Uh, yeah, I have no idea where I am, but we'll finish this next time. And if we get the ending, like, within the next five minutes of next time... I'll just keep going until get another ending, I don't know, or start the good ending? I don't know, but if you guys enjoyed this, hit the like button, or dislike button, and leave game recommendations down below, and, uh, timestamp a moment you liked. Sure. Anyways, until next time, I'm just gonna froth. I'm just gonna freak in the froth, man. See ya.